What's going on? This is the Dozen Trivia Tournament presented by High Noon Hard Seltzer. Real juice, real vodka, 100 calories, absolutely delicious, and I'm enjoying it as you get ready for this play-in game match between Uptown Balls and Team ZD, the two 12 seeds vying for a spot to take on the five seed, the experts, in the official first round. All the drama surrounded ZD coming into the tournament as they were abandoned by one of their members, Rico Bosco, in their last match. Dave Portnoy stepped up to the plate then, and he's doing so again here in the tournament as he accepts Eddie and Clem's offer to fill in for Rico. On the other side, Uptown Balls, one of the most chaotic teams in the tournament. They just squeak in. Will their chemistry improve now that they're playing together in person? Folks, it's the first match of the tournament. Two and 10 ZD, five and seven Uptown Balls, coming up right now. Welcome to the Dozen Trivia Tournament. I'm your host, Jeff D. Lowe. 12 trivia teams here, ready to vie for a spot in a championship. The Dozen Trivia Tournament, presented by High Noon. 12 teams, however, this first match is a play-in game. There are 13 teams, and two of them are here right now for a chance to move into the official first round and take on the five seed, the expert. The first team with me, to my left, two and 10, the Cinderella run getting into the tournament, all the drama, we have Team ZD, Eddie, Dave, and Clem. I'll start with you, Dave, really quick. You filled in for Rico. I didn't know if you'd even accept because these guys took forever. Yeah, to there was even give you an the way they went about it, for sure. Um, but you got to prove a point, and it was, uh, I don't want to say for the Rodgers and Rico, the way he handled it, but he was so disgusting in his behavior and such a coward. Uh, he didn't want to go against cons. He ran and hit and left these guys taking grenades. And I had to show that, you know, somebody will step up and be there and answer the bell, and that's what I'm doing today. I was going to ask Eddie this, but I'm actually going to ask you because I'm not sure if you're aware of this. So Rico now is on Team Minahan. Yeah, I did. A two-seed buy, and he's playing cons potentially in the second round. So did he dump this team in a ring chase? You know, I... I, I because I, look at this. Look what Eddie brought in. Like, like he's honoring him or something. It's a dedication game, but when you put it that way, it makes it kind of hard to have this show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say something here first on the show that doesn't. Uh, Kirk Manahan and Rico teaming up will end up in one of them leaving the company at some point. <laughs> like, it's all fun and games, but they are both equally insane to the point they don't even know how insane they are. I mean, so those two, while they think it's fun and games, we're right now. That will end up in a major catastrophe. He actually, I added Rico to the Kirk, the Team Minahan group chat, and the first thing he sent was, all right, boys, what should I study? I'm not here to make any turn. And, like, he was texting you and Dave. Crickets. Yeah, no. Just Steve and Kirk were like, whoa. Well, there's two really insane people now who are friends for now, but that will not last. Uh, ZD is here, 2 and 10 on the other. Though 0 and 1 is this team, and the last time they played, they did score the most points they ever had with 11. So that's something worth noting. Other side, the most chaotic team. Uh, they are together now, not on StreamYard or Zoom. It is the Uptown Balls, Tommy Smokes, Glenny Balls, <laughs> and, and new father, Smitty. Uh, Smitty. Does the in-person thing maybe help out the fact that you guys are together, like the, the chaos of this team? You know, Jeff, this team has always marched to the beat of the balls. Uh, it's just a question of whether we get Sergeant Staines or whether we get fresh balls. And Balls has got his nap, he's hydrating, we feel pretty good today. It's like you're right off a cue card. Um, <laughs> balls, every time you face Dave in this office in a competition, you giggle like a child. He doesn't even like taunt you. He just, just he just does there. his job, and you laugh. Is, are you worried about the giggle fits today? I uh, see. I'm, I told him before. I'm less scared of the giggles in trivia than I am Jenga, but I probably shouldn't have said that. So I'm going to make sure that I kind of just don't even look at Dave. Okay, that's ballsy. Uh, I'm not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, staring at me. You know, staring ballsy. at me freaks ballsy. me out. Uh, all right. So for the right to go into the the official part of the, well, they're in the tournament. They qualify to play the five seed though. One note. There are two notes. There's a real timer. When that thing hits zero, our good friend Owen will buzz. That's it. There's no. This is not the regular season. There's no hold up. Wait, wait, wait a second. That's more of like a Sh Team Chicago thing. They're gonna have to worry about that. So when that's off, it's off. It's over. You lose the question. Uh, no whispering. If you're caught whispering, uh, you will get DQ'd from the question. This is many fans are like, how are we going to have the charm of White Sox Dave saying answers out loud? This is how we'll do it. So you can't whisper. No Family Feud style conferring. Yes. Are you taking the last answer given before the buzzer? Correct. Yes. No matter who says yes. it or just by that? And are you going to be final answer guy for your team? Correct. You see that? Okay. Final answer guy for this team? Eddie? 
Clem? Clem. Clem's another guy. Okay, Clem. As always, two life, uh, three lifelines to double up. You can double up any category. You can also double dip, uh, double sip, excuse me, is what it's called. Double sip. You can answer one question two times, and then a phone or FaceTime a friend. If you phone or FaceTime somebody who's in the office, they must come in and answer the question. So. I'd also like to make a, a remark. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard that Dave has a cough. He's sick, noodle, and he's still playing for us. You didn't know it, by the way, either. You had to bring it up. I didn't yeah. want it yet. I am way under the weather. Like, not even close to seeing sea level. And yet you still showed up. Didn't Rico, even think Rico, I, knew I, I, yeah, I have no business being here, but that's who I am. Rico Durant. We'll see him later on in the tournament. Here we go. First category of the day is Major League Soccer. Major League Soccer, up first in every round will be Uptown Balls. <laughs> Your name will be above the question. That's how you know if you're up or not. 35 seconds on the clock, 30 seconds to discuss, five seconds to get that final answer in. When I'm done reading the question, the timer will start. Uptown Balls, here's your question. There are three MLS teams in Texas, one in Houston, Dallas, and where else? Where is that other team? I think this is McConaughey's team. I think it's Austin FC. Works for me. Austin FC. Final answer? Final answer. That is correct, Austin FC. One for the Uptown right, Balls. All right, all right. One for the Uptown Balls. Other team, here we go. Reset the timer. There are three MLS teams in California, two in Los Angeles, and where is the third? The third MLS team. All right. I can, I can call Riggs. Riggs is a soccer guy. Already going to talk yeah, about your phone. Point. Is that worth using it for one? I mean, they're all one. They're all one. Uh, I mean, the obvious, we know the, the Cali, San Diego, San Diego, San Diego San Sacramento, Sacramento, it's just where they, like, it's a little off, like, Austin's kind of off the beaten path, right? I would so. say Sacramento, but I have no idea. Maybe call Riggs if you want to. Ten seconds. Yeah, eight Riggs. seconds. Riggs, we're going to call Riggs. Oh, they're going to use a phone a friend immediately. Yeah. All right, stop the timer. Stop the timer. Reset it to 35, though. 35 seconds once Riggs. Our, we never use the phone a friend right. We've always, yeah. we've always, so we're that, just gonna, that's, That continues, I yeah. would think, yeah. Why, why is this here? right? No, I mean, it's, it's worth it, yeah, to tell me Every right question at one point. It's true, we could so do it. what's the difference? I feel like this one you can maybe throw up a toss up. That's just. Toss up. You gotta keep points. You what does that mean? He's in the office. He doesn't fucking answer. I'll, fuck, I'll go beat him up myself. He's in the office. He's in the office. <laughs> what if he doesn't answer? That's true. Hey, Reeves. Tell him to run. You're on the dozen. You want to in here? He's got to run. Can you come into the 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 office the the dozen uh, set right now? Kill after the first. Yeah, where's uh, green screen room? Yeah. yeah. This is mostly so Zach can come What's in Reeves here. What's Reeves even doing here? He's on a he's on uh, Team Misfits with Dante and Hank. Oh, good for him. <laughs> he's got to run. You got to run, Reeves. Got to run. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm, I'm walking out right now. No, no, run. Right. Here, <laughs> here comes Reeves. When he enters, he's going to have 30 seconds once he reads the oh. timer. Are you even going to give an answer? Reeves, come over here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> All right, Reeves, part of Team Misfits. Read that question. There give the three answer. three MLS teams in California, two in Los Angeles, and where else? San Jose. San Jose, boom. Perfect. Final answer? San Jose, final, final answer. answer. That's that kind of weird Austin. That's that an Austin answer. San Jose, Thank you, Reeves. It's not a win. So that's using the... That's a win. That's a win. That is. We're even. That's a win. San Jose wasn't on the radar. No. Next category is... Celebrity mash. Excuse me. All right. Balls. Celebrity balls. mashup. What is celebrity that? mashup. Celebrity mashup. You're going to see two celebrities mashed up in a photo. It's one to one. Balls says he is one of the best in the office at this. Name the two celebrities mashed up in this photo. What are you doing, hey? Yeah, I like to, you know. Okay. I, I think it. I know the I outside. Know, I know, I know. Okay. I, wait, who sh say who your outside is. I was going to say Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin and Anna Kendrick. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Alec Baldwin and Anna Kendrick. That is correct. Alec Baldwin and Anna Kendrick. Two to one. I had the medal. All right. I had no clue. Uptown you're Balls. You're going to get two celebrities as well. When you see the picture, the well. timer will start. It's two to one. Uptown Balls. For Team ZD, in the two celebrities here. I got the inside. Um, I got the girl. Yeah. So do I. The outside. We can't whisper. What? Yes. That's all oh, whisper? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. Sandra Bullock? Correct. Happy? Yes. <laughs> but we don't want to give them that. Well, you said don't whisper. Well, uh, is this uh, maybe a little Mark Ruffalo or no? Like John Mayer? Ooh, yeah, it could be John Mayer. We're out of time. Yeah, yeah. I do those two. John Mayer and who is it? Sandra Bullock? Bullock. Sandra yeah. Bullock. That is correct. Good John work, Mayer and Sandra Good Bullock. Work. We got ourselves yes. quite the battle early on. Next category is going to be college basketball. Does anyone want to double college basketball? You should double college basketball. No. What? Do you feel good? I'm pretty good at college All basketball. All right. Ripping and rolling. Okay, okay here we go. ZD. 
doubling theirs, up to on balls. This is your question. 35 seconds on the clock. In the 2015 NCAA tournament, what three seed ACC team nearly ended Kentucky's perfect season in the Elite Eight? They lost to Wisconsin that year. Mm -hmm. Next, three seed ACC. Who would be a three seed in the ACC? They didn't play UNC or Duke, I don't think. Maryland? Like Syracuse, Florida State, Maryland, NC State. Syracuse, would they have been a three seed? 15 seconds on the clock. Did they always Ooh, Miami? Louisville. Miami was good then. Miami that might was be good it. around then. 10 yeah. seconds. What about Shane Larkin? Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Miami. Fuck, that was Final Miami. answer? Mm. Yes. 15 Sorry, seconds, man. other side. <laughs> the clock hits 20. I have a weird one, but I don't know when they went. I don't know why I think it's Boston College. A three seed? Were they? I don't think they were a three <clears> seed. <throat> um, I mean, we can go with for, you know. ACC. Virginia. Got Virginia. five uh, seconds. Uh, you Need NCAA? an answer? NCAA? Clem? Give us an answer. We've got Clem. six. BC. Clem. BC, Boston College. Boston College, incorrect. It's Notre Dame. Okay. It's oh, Notre Dame. That's, that's funky. Right. That's funky. Cut, cut, Other double. side, this is worth two points. Oh. I have no brain. Glad we doubled. I'm brainless. I'm no brain guy. Can we put that in the graphic that Dave doesn't have a brain? I'm brainless. <laughs> Yeah, we can, yeah, we'll throw it's it up right off. next to him and say, Dave, no, disclaimer. I put up disclaimers all the time. All right, this is worth two points for Zidi. It's two to two. In the 2009 NCAA tournament, what one seed Big East team lost to Villanova at the buzzer in the Elite Eight? I was at this game. <sighs> oh, if you were there. This is at the buzzer. This is, it was a low scoring game, I think, at Boston, at uh, Georgetown. 2009. Big East. Oh, no, well, one seed Big East, Georgetown. Big East. UConn? It would be a big number one. Pro no, Providence was a one seed. Ten seconds. It's Pitt or UConn? Uh, uh, it could be Need an answer in five. five. Pitt, 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 final answer, Pitt. That is correct, a big two points. Oh, they no. get their double, it's four to two. Seedy, after three rounds. Ain't no noodle right. here. Next category is music. You You're gonna hear an instrument. Is that game at? The Garden? It was. Yeah, it was that. That's cool. You're going to hear an instrumental. <laughs> You're going to name cool. the artist. The artist of this instrumental. <clears throat> After the song plays, your timer will start. No guesses during the music because we won't be able to hear anything. Here is the song for Uptown Balls. It is a 2010 song. Who is the artist? Doop dap doobity doo lap doop da roop dap boobity doo da doo ba roop a pa da roop a roop a pa da roop da do da 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 roop a do boo pa o pa o pa o right pa boo da roop do. I mean, the media rule is that it said don't talk during this. I said don't talk during this song. So what? You see, no, it's not. It just makes the edit. You can do any rule. Small slap on. What would you do? That's just for the edit. I would steal. They don't get the answer. They break the rule. That's just, I mean, you just fuck the edit up. So everyone, everyone who's watching live, just in the chat, say Tommy sucks. Uh, what was your answer? Lupe Fiasco. Final answer, Smith? Final answer. That is correct. It's Lupe Fiasco, four to three. Other side, you're going to get a 2005 song. 2005 song. I have no chance. And you're going to name the artist. Name the artist. I know the name of the song. I don't know the artist. It's a bad, a bad day. I think it's Daniel Powder. Is that right? That that that, that could it's be something like, that guy. I was gonna say Dan a different. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say if that's the right answer. Go so. with that though. I don't Daniel know. Powder. Straight guess. That's correct. <laughs> Daniel Powder. Wow. Let's go. This, is, to this is like ZD. You saved all. Look at this. Is crazy. Wow. They used to play that when the pitcher would come out in the Chase Stadium. Whenever that fucking. That, yeah. you just remember. All right, so. we have our niche categories now up. Niche categories. ZD, your niche category. Is MTV. MTV. So this is for you. It's got to be uh, your niche. Dan Cortez. Here we go. <laughs> 35 seconds on the clock. This Their is for question. Uptown Balls. Yeah, it's for Uptown Balls. 35 seconds. MTV. ZD's niche category. What real world city had these cast members? Frankie Abernathy, Cameron Eubanks, no, Brad Fiorenza, and Jamie Chung. What city? I have no I've idea. Eddie seems world. to know it. I don't know if this is. I don't know who okay, would know okay, this. Okay, let's think of friend. a city. What does Eddie have to do with it? They're scared. San Diego, Miami. I'm trying to look at Eddie's face. San Diego, Miami. Uh, I mean, it wasn't early. Los it wasn't Angeles. San, I don't San know Fran any real world cities. 
Uh, you see stone faced over there. I never watched the show once in my life. Fra Frankie Whoa. sounds Ten Italian. Seconds. Never. Never. Uh, in Miami. I don't know. F Miami. Five. Miami. 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 Yeah. Final answer. Final answer. They said it too. Other San side. Diego. San Diego final answer. Fuck. That is correct. It's six to three. Oh, they said San Diego. Oh, this is over. your question. We're killing no, them. CD. MTV. We choke a lot, though. We do. What well, real world city had these cast members? Wes Bergman, Joanna Boda, Melina Stolp, and Danny James. Got it. That's Austin. Austin. Final, Final answer. answer. Yep. That is correct. Awesome. Seven to three. They. Right, that back. was All a right. clinical niche category from up from uh, ZD. Yeah, I have no. the wrong fucking names. <laughs> what does that mean? We picked that category. Yeah. Yeah, that was the niche. That last time was snacks. Oh, so that's, that's when you fucked us. Yeah, it did. <laughs> he got the tournament. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Next category is map of the world. Tommy Smokes double. claims. Double. So they're gonna double. Tommy Smokes says he can see any country in the world on a blank map and name that country. So this is their niche category. This is massive for Uptown Ball. This is your double worth two points. Name this African country based on the blank map. That is Togo. Your final answer? Wow. Yes. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> final answer. Final answer. Okay. Yep. That is right. He knew that. He knew that. All right. Pretty good. All right, seven to five. I don't think Zach could get it that quickly. Do we do? Yeah, I actually don't know. Yeah. You want to know the countries around it, too? No. <laughs> no. That one I might actually dock this points. Uh, other side, here we go. This is for ZD. You're going to get a blank map of Asia. Name the country. Yeah, yeah. No, I did not like You could do continents. I wouldn't know it. Uh, no, no, no. I did some studying this morning. Did you? And there's one that sticks out of my head. I don't know how to pronounce it though. Is the problem? If you could, if you could get close. Uh, in the ballpark. Butchered it. It's probably not even right. Do you have any? Uh, you have I any got clue? nothing. So I Dave, mean... Craig Megastan. That is Bhutan. Oh, close. Oh, my land. Yes. Yeah. That is great. Oh, yeah. 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 Did you know that he could? He studied it two weeks ago, too. This isn't like... Regardless isn't of like this, just, just for my own personal mm -hmm. thoughts. Tommy Funds. Weird, weird okay. thing to... Um, brain. All right. What's the score? Seven, six. That's it. That's a huge... Yeah, that's a huge... All right. We got both the... Uh -huh. That's a dumb category, though, because he hasn't memorized. So I'm in trivia. Jeff. Comment. False? I mean, it's... <clears throat> yeah, I mean... Hey, it's, well, that's not a trivia. He, that's a weird <laughs> thing he has. Uh, it's, it's seven. <laughs> it's seven to six. It's bonus round time. That, that's not trivia though. College of the NBA is a theme for the bonus round. It's seven to six. Uptown balls. You will guess each time. You have ten seconds. When that thing runs out, no guess. Other side, you'll have ten seconds. We alternate like a penalty shootout. Team with the most answers after five rounds gets two points. Or just, or just be like, what is this? What is that? <laughs> That's our bonus round, Mike. It's right in my face. <laughs> I'll stand in the way. This is outrageous. <laughs> what? Shining and <laughs> That's crazy. All right, here we go. That light, I can tell, is not as bright as this one. Here's the question. I can't see. It's all right. Name the 25 colleges with the most players on NBA rosters <laughs> right now. Okay. Or first? Yeah, you're up. Timer right. starts now. Kentucky. Kentucky. North Carolina. North Carolina. Duke. Duke. UConn. UConn. Okay, I got, I think, Tommy. Kansas. Kansas. Oh, I love you. No. no. Five, four, Clem, three, Arizona. Clem. Arizona. Did you guys say Arizona? Um, How do you know? Who are just big players? Five, four, three, US. Smitty. USC. USC. This show looks good. You need this to stay alive. Villanova. Villanova. Ball, if you get this, oh, you get I, two I points. What about Michigan? Michigan. Michigan. That is correct. That's, that's all school points. Oh, All right, score is eight to seven. Uptown balls. A little bit of a comeback there. The next category is Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball. Should we double? No, oh, we already, already doubled. Double. 
all doubles are off the board. Uh, this is for the Uptown Balls. They're 35 right. seconds on the clock. Yeah, in 2004, what two St. Louis Cardinals both hit 40 plus home runs? Right. Well, well, obviously, there's one. We know one. I have one that could be. Jim Edmonds, was he on the team? Jim Edmonds. Probably was, like, but he needed 40 home runs. Larry Walker was around back then. Lance Burke. Was Bart McGuire? Lance Burke was on the Astros. No, right? Lance Burke was on the Astros. No, was McGuire, McGuire still? wasn't still around. 15 seconds. <laughs> I think Jim Edmonds. Want to go Edmonds? Paul Holson Edmonds. Paul Holson Edmonds. Final answer? Final answer. Nice. That is correct. That way, Tommy. That way, Tommy. Zidi. Down 9 to 7. Here's your question. In 2002, what two Texas Rangers both hit 40 plus home runs? Timer starts now. Juan Gonzalez was the other team then? No. A Rod. I don't think so. A Rod. A Rod. And. Uh, I, don't, I don't get yours, Bo Palmero. That could be. You sure Juan Gonzalez was on the team? I have all his rookie cards. I thought he was. He was dead. I mean. Juan Gonzalez hit like 9,000 right home runs. Yeah. He hit 9,000 home runs. <sighs> Ten seconds. You guys got to figure out Juan Don or Palmero well. or someone else. Or do you want to double dip? I mean, you guess them both. <coughs> we could do that. I'm pretty sure it's Gonzalo. Eddie, then, I yeah. mean, Clint, decide right now. A Rod, Juan Gon. Final answer. Yep. All right, it's got to be A Rod and Palmero. I'm trying to think. Was Palmero there. definitely on the Rangers in like oh, 2002? Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I, the only other I mean, one is Pudge Rodriguez. No, you but have five. That's four. four. Could we, should we double? Uh, three. No. Right, a Rod Palmero. A Rod Palmero. That is correct. Yes. Aaron Rafael Palmero Clem beside himself. That's me. What the fuck was Juan Gonzalez on the. He hit 100. He was on the Indians at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Next category is television. He keeps fucking me, Juan Gonzalez. I got all his other cards. <laughs> <Uptown, laughs> what's the score? Uptown Balls. You're up 10 to 7. Sure, you're up 10 to 7. Should have doubled. You stole your double dip. We should have double dipped there. You Why? We got it. I know, but. We got it. We got it. You're right. It was a good question to double dip. We got it. We were right. Shut the fuck up. Okay, let's go. Yeah, chaotic team. Uh, next category is television. You're going to see a set the from a TV fox. show, and you're going to tell me the host. This is for Uptown Balls. The host. What host used this set before leaving the show in 2009? 35 seconds now. Uh, it's Conan. I would Conan. think it might be Conan because he left in, like he around left there, right? For TVS, right? Yeah. I, I That's definitely picture, Conan. I can picture Argy Langston in that scene. Yeah. Uh, Conan O'Brien. Co the host of the show. The host. host. The host, Conan O'Brien. Final answer? Final answer. That is correct, oh, 11 fuck. points. Next one. Miss, Other side, miss. category eight, still still points left. Yeah, sure Same thing. Drum was. 35 seconds on the clock. That's what TV cool. host used this set before leaving the show in 2011? Had to block him out, obviously. Double host? It's just one. When did What's His Face leave? The guy from uh, Chicago Central. That was. I got a fucking clue. <laughs> 15 seconds. Fuck. Looks like some sort of political show, doesn't it? Yeah. Craig Ferguson? Clem, I need an answer. Is it Colbert? Five, four, Clem. I don't know. Three, Clem. Craig Ferguson. Ferguson. Craig Ferguson. Uh, it's got to be Regis. 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 Yeah. Regis film. Regis film. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Regis film. They have that many flags and shit there? That is correct. Regis Philbin. That was Regis. I didn't realize it looked like that. There was a lot of All right, the score is 12 to 7. There are. 10, 11, 12, Jesus. Eight, eight points left. We're fucked. There are eight, there are eight friend, points left. Down 12 to 7, down We're 5. Coming back We're now. Points coming back now. points matter for the next time or anything, Jeff. No. What? The no, matter. stop next time. No stop. Oh, they're stop. fucking looking ahead. All right. Oh. Question. Oh. The balls have blown plenty of leads. We All right, NBA. I had a point in a long time. <laughs> NBA. What head coach had the following career path from 2000 to 2016? New Jersey, New Orleans, Cleveland, <coughs> LA, Lakers. The Lakers suck. Up around, twelve to man. seven. Yeah, I don't know NBA coaches. Wait, wait so Scott Cle Byron Scott. That doesn't sound like a bad answer, actually. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, uh, no. Oh, yeah, maybe. Byron Scott. Final answer. Final answer. Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> Where the fuck did you pull that one out of me? Up six with Gosh. seven points Sounds remaining. Good. Up six with seven points remaining. Uh, if you guys miss this and they steal, the game is over, and they have won the game. We get it. <laughs> Here's your question. What head coach had the following career path from 1990 through 2010? Lakers, Bucks, Blazers, Clippers. Oh, what's that guy's name? It's not uh, Walton, right? No. No. Chris, um... Who's with the Clippers? 
You have your double dip as well. He has like a mustache, I think. Balding, kind of. Chris. Oh, uh, I think it's Don Levy? Eight seconds, Clem. Don Levy, though, no. a mustache or a bald. No. Clem, four, three. Chris Dunleavy. Is it Dunleavy? Well, that's a, that's a player. Yeah, it's a phone friend? It's like, no phone uh, friend? No, it's a no, steal. He's played uh, I mean, That's right before Doc Rivers, it's right? Like, Who's Rick Moranis? Moranis? A little before Doc Rivers? Rick Moranis? Who's that? The fuck is that guy's name? Rick it's Moranis. Isn't he honey? Yes, I mean, he, 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 he's, he's a I, Utah coach. He wasn't. No. What? Oh. We only have like 10 seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. That's, oh, yeah. Um, no, you're out. You, you ran out of time. Oh. You didn't have a guess. Yeah, it's so, okay. my fault. My fault. So we get used to this. That's incorrect. Clem. To Mike Dunleavy Sr. Mike Dunleavy. Okay. Yeah. All right, score is 13 to 7. <laughs> 13 to 7s, we have six points remaining. All right. Beverages, Uptown Ball, this is for you. Beverages and drinks. I like 35 beverages. seconds on the clock. In 2011, Dr. Pepper released a low calorie beverage <laughs> that originally branded itself as not for women. I feel like Ken Jack would know this. Should we call him? Yeah. I feel like we should, just, I feel like we should wait to, just, because we still have two more. Right, 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 right. Okay. What? I, I'm going to say like Dr. Pepper Zero, but I, I don't know. It's, it's not going to be that simple. Women. What about like Dr. Pepper like? Dr. Pepper. A great, I don't know. We're going to get in trouble. You know this. Dr. Pepper. Yes. Right now. Dr. Pepper cars. Well, let's not use our double oh. dip. I, I don't know who's going to know this. Let's let's save the phone a friend. There's no one we Can think we call to know Jeff this. Why, why, why are we <laughs> saving phone a friend? I like the phone a friend. No, no, no. no let's not phone a friend. Let's not phone a friend. Let's not phone a friend. Dr. Pepper Zero. Dr. Pepper Zero. Who's going to waste our time? Who's going to know what that is? There's two more categories. Ken Jack's going to know it. All right, that might be it. Dr. Pepper 10, final answer. Come back. That is correct. That is correct. Fucking Mike Dunleavy Sr. I say Chris Dunleavy. Your question. Easy ball. Zidi. Now you're down by five. In 2013, Mountain Dew released a new line of canned energy caffeine drinks. They hope to be a viable morning option. Canned energy drinks for Mountain Dew in 2013. Not Jolt, not Surge. It was Mountain Dew branded. It's, yeah. it's like Mountain Dew something. Yes, yeah, it's Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but it was a completely, it's completely it's different it's thing. It's you know Mountain Dew. Yeah, I'm Mountain Dew. It's like, cr do, uh, think of a Mountain Dew word, like a mountain word. <laughs> Crush. Like crush. Crust, crest, or something like that. Crush is that. You also have your double dip. You, with an e, you have your double dip. Do you want to use it? I don't think we know. Jolt isn't. Five, oh, Clem. That's Gatorade. Uh, Mountain Dew Pow, Mountain Dew Jump. Uh, that is incorrect. Uptown Balls has won the Pretty game. Hard. Let's go. Oh, shit. And has moved into the bracket. We'll take on the five seed, the experts. Go ahead, Balls. This went quick. Do you, you have are a guess? what you are. Do you have a guess? Sun. Mountain Dew Sun. That's incorrect. It's Mountain Dew Kickstart. Mountain Dew Kickstart. Because it's the playing game, we don't have to continue the match. You guys have moved on in to the tournament. You will play the five seed, the experts. Congrats, other side, Clem. You've been shaking your head and heads been on the table for... We zeded ourselves. We zeded ourselves. We talked ourselves out of right answers. We gave away the, the right answers. We just zeded ourselves. We are what you are. We were... The they were bad all season. They were bad I when I joined. I will say that. I will uh, say. <laughs> now with point fingers. Well, you, you said you're bad all season. We, I said we. We were bad. I was over two. You. They blinded me with this light. I will say. I had no brain. We had we had NFL. Then we had a we had oh, NFL movies. Was a category. You did score more with Dave than you ever did with Rico. Probably. Well, Rico is a coward and a loser, but that doesn't change the fact that we got balanced. Listen, I have no brain. I was useless. Can we play this again when he has a brain? And that light. <laughs> it was shocking. It was startling light. It was tough. Uh, it. Thank you to ZD, fan favorite team. Uptown Balls, <laughs> not as much. But they're in, the, they're, they're in the field of 12. You'll be taking on the experts. That's it for this match. The next match you will see is Gen XYZ, the nine seed, Large Vibs and Jake Marsh. Again, Spittin' Chicklets, RA, Biz, and Ryan Whitney. Thank you to High Noon for sponsoring. We'll talk to you later. All right, post match interview. I'm here with the victorious Uptown Balls, the 12 seed playing match against Dave, Eddie, and Clem. You were down for a while. But then you scored 13 points. It's a shame that the playing game, we had the stipulation that we were just going to cut it short whenever the team won. That won't be the case the rest of the tournament, but you could have maybe came close to setting a scoring record. Yeah, it took a while for Uptown Balls to really find their groove, but I tell you what, between Tommy and World Geography and Balls being Balls, I think we're going to be tough. I don't feel like I ever get like real ant. Like I feel like I'm talking to like... 
like, like an animated character. What do you character. want from Look at you, you are talking to an animated character. <laughs> Paul's a little more authentic here. Uh, how are you feeling? I feel great. You know, we haven't won in a very long time. We kind of suck, if we're being honest, but we put on a fucking showing today. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, you know, when you get hot, you get hot. We could go on a run. Anything can happen. So, the next round, you do have the experts, Tommy. Yep. How are you feeling? I feel confident. I think that showing we just put on is going to put a little fear in their bones. I think we showed, hey, we're the uptown balls, and maybe we look ridiculous, and Smitty's got that hat on, and me and Glenny are me and Glenny, but we know our trivia, and we perform when it matters most, so we're coming for that ass. I'll tell you what, us being Not, here... Um, just, yeah, just for Brandon and Us and having Gipsy's a play-in game is kind of like UCLA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Us having a play-in game is kind of like UCLA this year. We're here, we got the feet wet a little bit, the sticks are loose, and uh, Brandon Walker's biggest enemy is going to be that live clock. I'm calling it right now. He will not like being buzzed live. Actually, not a bad prediction. That was authentic. I like that. Uh, Uptown Balls taking on the experts, but the next match you will see is Gen X, Y, Z, the 9 seed against the 8 seed, Spittin' Chicklets. Thanks to High Noon, this has been the Dozen Trivia Tournament postgame.